In Pikmin 1, there were three endings to that game, one of which was considered the bad ending, and it's what it was the consequences of reaching day 30 without all the necessary parts to survive. Olimar would crash down, in fact, it's one of the most viewed videos on my channel, um, especially in light of this game. <coughs> Olimar would crash land, and the Pikmin, uh, and he would die. The Pikmin would, took his corpse, threw it into their onion, and he was reborn. He was reborn as a leafling. Now, <clears throat> that being elaborated on only now really excites me. This game has so many different details from the rest of the franchise, and it's it's great. I I'm I'm really starting to I, I'm I love that it feels like the developers respect every Pikmin game and are taking the best aspects from all of them without ripping actually they rip them off sometimes but it's I think it's justified they're appealing to our love of this game and what made those games special because really this is such a niche franchise I am not going to mess with that in fact that Pikmin is stuck I can't yeah no that that's a disaster waiting to happen and to see uh, Leaflings, which did not have a name yet, in Pikmin 1 make their return and be the, you know, central conflict of Pikmin 4 is, is really nice. But it also harkens Olimar's uh, conduct as a Leafling. Again, it could, it's possible it's not, Ol it's Olimar. Let's, let's be honest here. His conduct as a Leafling is fascinating to me. Uh, it's enthralling. Because he's almost acting as this fallen explorer uh, that's a protective spirit that's testing future adventurers so they don't fall to his same demise. I like that the themology of that. Instead of him just being, you know, dark Olimar, he's saying, hey, I, I am testing you to see if you're cut out to keep going. If you're not, you should probably turn around before you end up like me. That's cool. Uh, disband all but reds. You do that. Ochi. You go this way. I'm wondering when we're going to see a lightning, a lightning blow hog. That'd be kind of neat. Ah, uh, that didn't work out. This was the wrong way to go. Oh, that... That was an accident. Well, I'm gonna take advantage of this opportunity. Okay, they're not in trouble. Why are you telling me to call them back to me? That's stupid. Unless it's because they're about to fall to their deaths. Let's see how this plays out. Ah, kill him! Cool. Not a problem. Ne never didn't have it. Uh. Uh. This is really awkward. This is the wrong way for me to go. Hmm. I should... I should not have reds here. Oh, wait. Hold up. Doesn't matter. Uh, disband. 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 Oh, she's fireproof now. Do it. Look at him. Look at the dog. Wait, one more time. Come on. Come on. Go. Flames. Look at the dog. Inferno Dog, which is a title of one of my Tears of the Kingdom videos. Because wolves started on fire and completed a quest for me. It was really funny. Where am I going? I don't know. Uh, any enemies? No. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I need to remember that that heals Ochi. I totally forgot about that. Okay, uh, seven, and then Ochi, you're going to go back to base and grab more yellows. Switch over to Jeff, and then we'll tackle this. Turn towards me. Turn towards... Blowhog. Turn towards me. 
Oh my, I'm so fast! Look at me, look at me flex on you. Am I fireproof? I forgot. I totally forgot if I'm fireproof. All right. You know, one thing um, I just kind of noticed, uh, the the weird like lock-on or the weird capping that that Pikmin did in the demo, they don't, it feels like they don't do it anymore. Yeah, in the, in the demo, whenever I reached my limit of Pikmin, uh, on on an object throwing them it would it would lock me out of throwing any more for a few seconds Which was nice. It was nice to know that I'd hit my limit But it was like two, up to two seconds sometimes and that was kind of annoying when you know, I really just want to I, I really just want to throw my my Pikmin and make it get there faster, but the game's telling me no uh, Jeff I need your horn There you go I'll Destroy this and we get a ice candy pop bud. I can't believe a flower that big is blooming underground. I believe it's called a candy pop bud. When you throw a Pikmin onto it, they're transformed into a Pikmin that matches the color of the flower. Unbelievable. They can even change color. Pikmin are the strangest creatures. You know, I'm gonna name the, or I'm gonna guess at the name of this one. I'm gonna say it's the Frigid Candy Candy Pop Bud. That's my guess. I have no idea if I'm correct, but that's that's the guess. And actually, I I want to try something. Pack. I wonder. I was going to spawn a few of these guys anyway, just to get in the habit of it. But I wonder if I can throw them into the Candy Pop Bud. I can. All right, I that that's really going to help because now I just converted a temporary resource to a permanent one. It's a uh, <laughs> it's almost like the GameStop exploit. So, um, GameStop has this exploit with their pro membership program that I found. Uh, <laughs> it, it, they actually nerfed it because people some people were abusing it, like myself. Uh, but what you could do is, if you got a GameStop Pro membership, by the way, I'm not sponsored by GameStop for this. If you got a GameStop Pro membership, um, they gave you $5 of in-store credit that you had to use every month or it washed away at the end of the month. So the I, the intent with that was you, you're buying a game every month and you get $5 off on that game, which is a pretty good deal, right? For $15 a year, you're getting $60 in value. That's a great, that's a great deal. But, what I found out, and actually I got this recommended to me by an employee of GameStop, was, uh, you could... Oh, you guys are gonna fly away. Or get out of the way! Okay, we're good. Oh, that's awkward. Wait, oh, I have Xaxes? Let's, yeah! I have Xaxes. I love it when that happens. I don't know how to get that, but I assume the guys are involved. So anyway, $5 in-store credit. And... Uh, switch. And you could actually get a, a code um, in the store. They didn't print these out, but they would give you this code for <coughs> an eShop e -shop credit with like Nintendo or really any, any of the, um, any of the game developers or the, the major game companies. So you could get a, a code for $5 of, of eShop credit with your credit. So you're converting this temporary resource into a permanent one. So you're literally spending... Get out of the way. You're literally spending $15 a year to get 45... Or to make $45. And it... It, um... It was really good... It was a really good exploit, so good in fact, that eventually they nerfed it and they made it so you couldn't get $10, $10 in credit anymore. But the exploit actually still exists if you just want to spend $5 a month. You can get a $10 eShop card and make money still. It just now it requires a little bit out of pocket. Really funny, really funny. And I highly recommend still uh, you do it uh, because, I mean, here's another another way to contextualize it. It's $15 a year, and it pays 
for your your Nintendo Online membership. And in essence, you could get a reduction in your membership if you wanted to get a like the the uh, expanded Nintendo membership, like the Nintendo Online Plus or whatever. So it's re literally now reducing it to fifteen dollars a year. Kind of broken. I need to kill that. I killed it. Nice. Okay. You guys want to help carry that? Thank you. Are there any other dangers there? No, we're good. Uh, so now, what am I doing? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Make it two trips. I have enough Pikmin that can work. Uh, ah, I see. Jump on Ochi. Jump up here. Throw. Why? Well, almost walked off the ledge. Oh boy. I'm very fast, and I that would have been bad. I would have lost. Literally every Pikmin. What a title of an episode that would be. Oh, man. That was crazy. Uh, is that it? Oh, I didn't realize that I had fire there. Did they carry it through the fire and I just did not pay attention? Have I lost Pikmin to that off screen? I, I very much wonder. Or did I just get incredibly lucky? I could have been really bad. Uh, there were some ice Pikmin over here. Yeah. And I guess the the beginning is over there anyway. Let's jump up here. Is there still treasure? Did I mess up? I think I might have messed up. Uh, yeah, I messed up. I missed something. So let's switch over to Ochi. And it doesn't matter that even if there were no Pikmin over here, Ochi can carry whatever it is. Although it looks like it's a, a high up treasure. How do I get up there? This way? I have 10, so better weigh 10 or else I'm definitely cutting this out. It's a caster, caster wheel? What is that? One, two, three, four, five. What is that? Is that a bean counter? Oh, oh it's a bean counter. Okay, that's what it is. And certainly that's the last treasure. Why are we getting a cutscene for this? Oh, 7,000. I ask that every time. I ask oh. that. Why are we getting a cutscene? <laughs> you two are natural at this exploration stuff, Jeff and Ochi. You've collected so much energy, I think we can fully restore the SS Bagel, Shepherd, uh, Cafeteria, whatever I'm calling it in this moment. Also, I really wish that treasure said 9001 because I grew up <laughs> in the early 2000s. Final sublevel. What's the boss? Is there a boss? Is it a Gatling Groink? Is it a turkey? Oh, it's a puffy blowhog. That's it? I guess that's kind of scary a little bit. Like, but that's it. Maybe they're different. Maybe they're a boss now. There is music. I'd imagine that I don't want to get hit by this guy. Yeah, that's gonna kill. Let's see if I can freeze it. Yeah, kill it in one go. Bye. Um. Huh. I, I wager that was supposed to be a little bit frightening, and it was, but... I've played Pikmin before, so it's not that bad. Who is this? Finally, it's been, it feels like it's been forever since we got a proper captain. Mika, uh, from the home planet of Nichki, a new teacher at Aelon. No, wait. Aelion, <clears throat> a new teacher at Ale Aleon Academy, who's putting her liberal arts degree to good use as an advisor to the Planetary Science Club. A school teacher. Did she come here as part of an educational field trip? Oh, but then... That means other teachers and students from the school could be stranded here as well. 
We better get the whole story from her as soon as we can. That sounds very bad. Uh, why on earth are children here? It's one thing for, you know, intergalactic travelers to be here, but children? That's, um... I feel like that crosses a line, and as a parent, I would not be okay with that. Uh, okay. Uh, that's all the treasure that's here. That was kind of an anticlimactic final floor, but I suppose they can't all have bosses. Even though, you know, that most of them did in, in Pikmin 2, but that would have been difficult had I not proceeded with the utmost caution and careful footwork. Let's go back to the surface and see what, what else we can achieve in the time we have remaining. Got some treasure. A thousand just in this cave alone. And we did not lose a Pikmin off screen. Good. I, I didn't think we did, but the possibility was there. And we have some more uh, ice Pikmin, since we don't have their onion, that's valuable. Huzzah! Uh, sure, whatever. What else? Ah, oh, I remember what we were doing. We needed plastic. I completely forgot about that. Do we ha I don't think we have enough. Uh, ooh. Ochi, you're gonna have to go s Oh, we do! Yes, perfect. You guys go as well, and we'll be able to explore a new area right now. I probably should have spice sprayed them, but it's such a short distance, it probably doesn't matter. I wonder if we might find an onion. I'm, I'm kind of getting a sense that there's an onion up here. I don't know why. Probably not, but I don't know. What else would be here? Hopefully a cave. If I see a cave, I'm going there instantly. Let's go. Hi. Eh, kill him. That was interesting. He can't, uh... Ochi. Honey. Honey. Ochi, uh... Or he he couldn't throw all the Pikmin off at once. That was... That was odd. Uh, I kind of wish I had rock Pikmin right now, but let's... Let's... Mm, completely miss. Alright. Kill one. Kill the other. That one really didn't care about me. Are they not aggressive? Oh, hold up. Hold the phone. Go to my pack. I think I have this assigned to a shortcut, but... I also don't have enough bomb rocks. Let's see, did I do it in one? I cannot do it in one. Ochi, stop doing that. Why does it default to Ochi all the time? Maybe because it's a user error. That would make a lot of sense. Whoa, hi! Ooh, I should have expected that. That makes sense. Hi, hello. Uh, let's wait for the slow get up. There it is. Ha! Just like clockwork. Freeze him. Bye. That was... Uh, moving on. <laughs> Not even missing a step here. Grab this. Really? That? I also should have expected that. Um... Those are eggs next to a burrowing snagret. What else would would be there? Okay, we're we're good. We're safe. Uh, Ochi, switch. Oh wait, wait. This is probably kind of a shortcut. Perfect. And I crashed. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, they have that. One, two. I don't know why they. S oh, they're too fast. That's why. Uh, you guys. Get this done. I don't have a bomb. Oh, yeah. I was kind of hoping that I'd find one down here, but I didn't. Um, no matter. You help them? Uh, I have no one to switch to, unfortunately. Uh, Jeff, go back to base, grab, grab Pikmin. And switch. Cool. 
We're getting stuff done. Dandori battle over there. Oh, we're back here. Um, man, I need I need a lot of bomb rocks, and I don't have them. For some reason, I kind of just expected. Yeah, I'll grab this. Uh, I kind of just expected there to be like bomb rocks to not ha be able to get us across. Uh, they're not to be bomb rock gates. I don't know why. Where am I going with Ochi? I already did that one. I did that. I've gone here. Really, that's the last thing available, which stinks. I only had... Certainly. No, I only had one bomb rock. That, hmm. That's definitely a misplay. We're gonna have to come back to this area for literally one thing. Unless we can find bomb rocks really quick. In fact, let's switch over to Ochi. Uh, wait, 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 no. Disband all but this. Y Jeff, you're going... Let's see, you're going here because there were bomb rocks here. And then... Ochi, you're going... Where are you going? Kind of cleared this area all the way over here. You're gonna go here, I guess? There might be bomb rocks up here now. Oh, you know what? I think I know where there are bomb rocks. Let's switch over to Jeff. Isn't are there bomb rocks right over here? Like near the base, like right down this path on the left? I think there were, but there might not be any more. So far, I haven't gotten a great indication of what respawns and what doesn't. And I'm starting to wonder if nothing respawns. And once it's pillaged... Oh, no, that's back. That's back. So maybe... Maybe... Okay, there's, there's a bomb rock. So you go... All the way back to... Back here. And then... Ochi, let's, let's see if you can find one. Uh, we kind of both went the same path. I'm not... Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Go, go, go. Get in there. I wonder if Yellow Pikmin can still dig fast. That was a thing in Pikmin 3, and never again. Alright, uh, Ochi, or Jeff. Go. Looks like it was just plastic. Unfortunate. There are no dirt piles around. Yeah, no. That that stinks. We're gonna have to come back here for literally one thing. Um We know there's nothing there. Hmm. We know there's nothing up there. We've cleared that out. Yeah, just go here. I don't remember. And you. Throw that and look look on. Look just across the fence with sadness. We need probably like five of them. And then hope that our last few remaining Pikmin get back in time. Looks like they will. Really just in the nick of time there. We are fine. Five bits of plastic. Honestly... A good day, just a second place finish. Because we're going to have to go back here for one final thing. Oh well, first playthroughs can't be optimal. Da, 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 da. Look how happy Colin is to see us. Look how happy everyone is to see us. We're the star of the show. Oh, and we... Wait. We got an upgrade, didn't we? Can we go to uh, two new areas? 
we've got enough energy stored up that we should have no problem starting the US the SS cafeteria's engines. I'll make sure the ignition is functioning properly. Oh? Yeah, look at that! Purrs like a kitten. We've stored up plenty of energy for the SS cafeteria and expanded the radar search area. The engines are ready to go again, too. Now we can take off at any time. If only we could find our pilot. Until then, the SS cafeteria remains grounded. That leafling could be the, the pilot. Who knows? I don't, but we're going to find out soon. We got lots of treasure. We beat the pants off Olimar. We finished a series. Yeah. No. Oh, ho, ha, ha, ha. What is this star-shaped oh, no. med medallion? Ross tinkered with the appraisal AI. Now you'll be able to see when you collected all the treasures in a series. Yeah. Hee hee! There's a resonance in the way patterns of treasures of the same type that allows us to extract even more sparklium. Nah. Can't say that I get the science behind it, but it sounds like we could, should try to collect a complete series. Not like you can control that at all, but I'm just saying it would be nice to collect every single fruit in existence. And apparently only six of those exist. No Pikmin lost once again. It feels like uh, <clears throat> that one that one cave, the uh, what was it, the unseen passage, was uh, just a blip, just uh, just an outlier. Because we've continued to play uh, without like honestly taking risks again now, or taking risks for the first time now that I'm not trying to continue a streak, and then suddenly the streak is continuing. I don't know how, but it's happening. Granted, we lost some Gloman the other the other day, but I don't think that counts. I don't think they're... I mean, they're ghosts. Ghosts don't have souls, right? <laughs> right? No. Us. I don't get it. Why do we fight? Why does everything have to be a competition? Oh. Is something the matter, boss? Oh. Nah, just a passing thought I had while watching that Dendori battle. It just strikes me as sad. Here we are, all living together and sharing the same universe. We should be friends, not foes. Makes sense, but then we sh then shouldn't we and uh, you be friends with all the creatures of the universe as well? Creatures? No, no. There, there is is an they uh, it, 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 no. <laughs> That's an entire quest line done. It the ship's repaired. We can leave whenever we want. But. The fact that we are stranded is not the reason why we didn't leave. We didn't leave because there are people's lives at risk that we need to protect. Tomorrow, we might go to a new area. We might uh, we might delve into an area at night, but we will tackle that then. Night. <laughs>